South Africa is making great strides in addressing gender imbalances within the aviation sector. The Civil Aviation Authority has released statistics compiled by the International Civil Aviation Organization showing an increase from 4.5% in 2016 to 4.9% in 2022 of women participation within this sector. The Civil Aviation Authority says although more still needs to be done, the developments within the sector are encouraging. Ten years ago, there was only one female executive and now we have 50% female executives. Where 10 years ago, the staff complement of the South African Civil Aviation Authority was less than 20% women, and now we have 50% women representation. So yes, my optimism is based on those facts. And therefore it is possible the Transport Minister is calling for women to continue rising to the occasion and helping government come up with strategies that will ensure inclusion and empower women in the sector economically. You have those that have low skills, medium skills, but high skills and technical skills. They are there and they are trained, the majority of them, by us here in South Africa. But of course, where we think we need other countries to assist us, we send them to other countries to assist us with those skills. So yes, we're getting there. And I just want to say that as, as the Minister of Transport, I think we're not doing bad in the aviation sector. We get audited by different country, I mean, I mean institutions, we get audited by ICAO, and with each audit, we improve. This summit saw a panel discussion with those in the sector sharing ideas on creating an enabling environment, opportunities and workplace culture for gender equality. It's things like analysing our payroll and seeing what the pay split is amongst our male and female counterparts, but also in terms of things like uh, employee well-being. So we introduced staff transport um, as of the 1st of August. One of our policies is that we fund, and we, we, that's where we, we make um, inroads in terms of the gender equality. We fund 54% of all the training that is required that should be for female. Where you enter this industry of aviation in particular, the question is what does she know about aviation? Can she tell us about airspace management? Can she tell us about the operations technologies that are used? So you have to prove yourself all the time. We've walked the journey. Yeah. I'm very disappointed with the stats that I'm yeah. seeing today. I, I, I think I, my observation is that there is something wrong with the system. Mm. You know, and we need to do something about it. You know, as industry, we need to come together. As government, government entities, we need to come together to change the discourse and make a difference. Those in attendance want to see gender equality realized as they lament the slow pace of transformation. It brings us to uh, a space where we are being exposed to a lot of things that are happening in aviation. We're looking for support. We want women to be supported. I still believe that the industry is more white dominated, whereas we also need to introduce the aviation in the rural areas where those young girls have hopes, have dreams that they need to come in into this industry. What I would want to see is that there should be results. We should not talk, talk, talk. There should be talk and then we must see results. Women in the industry want equal pay and investment. They want practical policies. They want diversity and inclusion in making gender equality a reality. They vowed to drop the talks in the aviation sector and bring results next year at this summit with an emphasis being on results. Katla Rodi, SABC News, Kempton Park.